Hi guys, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to another segment of Skin Fix Head to Head Challenge, whereby today we'll be comparing two different mineral sunscreens by Sun by Me. A little bit of background on Sun by Me. Sun by Me is a company which was created in the year 2017 and it's been very popular all around the world, especially in certain parts of Asia like Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore, and definitely South Korea. And today we'll be comparing their mineral sunscreens. First up, what is a mineral sunscreen? What is it different? Why is it different from other sort of sunscreens? Why is it, so mineral sunscreens are actually the physical sunscreens. They are the original sunscreens, the original gangsters, the OG of sunscreens. They are primarily consisting of either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. So what mineral sunscreens do? They actually reflect away the UV radiation being sh uh, shown on your skin. Give you a quick example. So if we take out a mineral sunscreen and we apply it and generally due to the zinc oxide or the titanium dioxide, there will be that particular white cast that forms on the skin. What happens is after application of the mineral sunscreen, UV radiation will try to penetrate the skin. However, mineral sunscreen will reflect the UV radiation away from your skin. Slightly different than chemical sunscreens whereby the UV radiation will be absorbed by the chemical sunscreens and dissipated all around the skin, preventing it from being absorbed by your skin. First up, we'll be comparing the Trusica Mineral 100 Calming Sun Cream. It has an SPF of 50 with a PA 4 plus. Now, they have done a very good job in the design whereby on the box itself, they mention a sun cream. Now, it's the same as sunscreen, but they just want to let you know that on top of just being a sunscreen, it has a cream inside as well, probably to hydrate your skin. Now, what is Trusica and why is it why is it so popular these days? Trusica is a compound which, which is trademarked by Sun By Me, which consists of four different ingredients. It has mugwort, extract to reduce inflammation. It has tea tree oil leaf extract to reduce, which has antibacterial properties and anti-acne properties and two different Centella Asiatica extracts. Again, to reduce inflammation, to reduce redness and to reduce skin irritation. They have trademarked it and call it Trusica. On the box itself, we can tell that this particular sun cream has triple function. Now, the first function would be, of course, the mineral filters. The mineral filters means that it has either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. The second function is likely a calming or soothing property in nature whereby it helps reduce the amount of redness or um, skin irritation which is probably caused by your other active ingredients. And the third function, it has the hydrating function. Now, in this bottle, it's a 50 ml. It's a very, very nice bottle to, to actually have it. It's not too large. It is written here, tea tree, Trusica 10,000 ppm. ppm stands for parts per million. That means this particular Trusica extract or this particular Trusica compound, it um, consists of 1% in the entire bottle because 10,000 uh, 10, parts per million, that means that it's a 1%. First of all, the smell. It smells like citrus. It smells a little bit like tea tree oil as well. It is not an overpowering smell. It's actually a very pleasant smell. And I actually like the, this particular pleasant smell. As we all know, sun creams or mineral sunscreens will definitely give you that white cast or that whitish discoloration, right? Because of the zinc oxide or the titanium dioxide, this, you can never avoid it. However, the application of the cream is very important. In this particular, sun cream or this particular sunscreen, they have included glycerin and they probably inc include enough glycerin inside, but it's easy to apply all over the skin. 
Now, a lot of mineral sunscreens have the issue of being too thick, but it's difficult to actually apply it on your skin. And what happens, it, it leaves a very white discoloration on your skin, whereby it's in very dark skin types, you know, in Southeast Asia, uh, it's generally not acceptable. However, the Trusica sun cream actually is easy to, to, to actually apply and to smear. It does leave the white cast, but it's not too bad. And on top of that, it has a moisturizing effect. The mineral filters of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which is uh, included inside this particular sun cream, helps protect against UVA and UVB. And hence, they have the SPF rating of 50 with a PA4+. The main ingredient inside this particular sun cream or sunscreen, which gives it that nice calming effect, is niacinamide. It has roughly 2% niacinamide. Now, niacinamide, if you have seen our previous video, actually reduces the amount of skin irritation being caused. It helps reduce the amount of acne and as well as it helps a little bit with pigmentation and acne scars. On top of that, with the Trusica compound, it has tea tree extract, which is antibacterial. It is also uh, a soothing and calming ingredient. It has mugwort and centella azatica to help reduce skin irritation and redness. And most importantly, it's alcohol-free. This is a very good substitute for skin which is easily irritable and as well as acne-prone skin. So if you're looking to change your sunscreen, you can definitely opt for this. So not only acne-prone skin and people with sensitive skin can actually use it. If you have red scars, acne scars, and as well as pigmentation, you can definitely use this particular sunscreen. This sunscreen is actually great for all skin types. So if you, even if you have dry skin, it actually helps because it has a little bit of glycerin inside to hydrate your skin. In terms of smell, I love it. It has the very small hint of citrus. It reminds me of Mandarin Orange during Chinese New Year. It brings back a lot of good memories. Smell, definitely 5 out of 5. Texture, even though it has white cast, which all mineral sunscreens have, it is easy to smear on the skin and after a little bit of massage into the skin, the white cast slowly dissipate, dissipates and disappears into the skin. So in terms of texture, definitely 5 out of 5. In terms of pricing, this is less than 50 ringgit. It ranges in between 30 to 40 plus ringgit depending on the season, depending on the sale. So price-wise for a 50 ml, it's definitely worth the price. Again, this is 5 out of 5. And last of all, effectiveness. SPF 50 with a P8 4 plus with niacinamide and properties to help reduce acne, reduce skin sensitivity and to soothe the skin. It has a calming effect. Effectiveness, 5 out of 5. So overall rating, this is a 5 out of 5. Second sunscreen which we are comparing today is the Yuja Niacin Mineral 100 Brightening Sun Cream SPF 50 PA 4 plus. This is also another very good physical sunscreen from Sun By Me. Now, the word yuja comes from a citrus fruit in Korea and in Japan. Or another word for it is actually yuzu. And the word niacin means that it has niacinamide inside. Gives it a nice calming effect and helps you reduce acne as well. Next up is the packaging. It's only 25 ml. You, there is the option of getting the 50 ml. However, we couldn't get our hands on it. We could only get the 25 ml, which is slightly smaller than regular sunscreens. So in terms of smell, it does not smell like yuzu. It doesn't smell like orange. It actually gives, reminds me of an oriental traditional herbal smell. So for those who actually like this traditional oriental herbs, you know, from China, Korea, or from Japan, you might like this smell. For me, I'm not a big fan of this smell. It reminds me of Chinese medicine. So in terms of texture, again, because this is a sun cream, we understand that it contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. There will be white cast. It is normal to actually have white cast. It is much thicker than other sunscreens or other sun creams, it is a little bit difficult to smear around and it leaves a very strong white cast. Even a, just a couple of seconds, you can see that the white cast still remains on the skin. And if I actually put it up, I look like a ghost. Not great for people with dark skin type or doesn't want to have that 
uh, cakey kind of look, but great for someone that wants to put a uh, foundation on or someone who want to achieve that, that nice pale, uh, fair complexion. When we look into the ingredients, it contains 2% niacinamide, then that is actually reflected in the name of niacin, 2% niacinamide. And we know that niacinamide helps reduce inflammation, it helps control acne, and helps soothe the skin. So 2% niacinamide is a very good addition. On top of that, they actually have vitamin C inside. Now, it's not every day that we see vitamin C sunscreens. Again, this, this, it doesn't contain a lot of vitamin C, contains a little bit, but that is good enough because vitamin C is an anti-aging property, helps reduce wrinkles, and as well as help reduce pigmentation and give your skin a nice glow. In the ingredients, it also has arbutin. Arbutin is a derivative which is similar to hydroquinone to help reduce skin redness and pigmentations. The other minor ingredients inside for soothing, it has a vitamin B5 or what we call pentanol and it has bisabolol to actually reduce the amount of irritation being caused by maybe your active ingredients or your moisturizer or maybe your skin is having a little bit of skin irritation. It also has topiferol which is vitamin E and once you combine vitamin E with vitamin C, it creates a super antioxidant sunscreen. So for the Eugen Niacin Brightening Sun Cream, who is it suitable for? It's suitable for someone with normal to combination skin, not really acne prone, but looking to brighten their skin, look, looking to reduce the red scars, and looking for an antioxidant properties. Now, you might want to look at this. Not recommended with, with someone with acne prone skin. And if you have dry skin, always remember to apply your serum and moisturizer first before applying this because the texture is a little bit thick. For smell, I'm not a big fan of the Korean Oriental herbal extract smell. So I'll, for the smell, I'll give it 2 out of 5. Again, personal preference. For texture, due to the high concentration of zinc oxide and titanium oxide, it leaves a white cast, a very strong white cast, which is very difficult to be massaged into the skin. Uh, it's not great for someone with dark skin type who doesn't want to look pale or cakey. So for texture, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. Pricing wise, it's 40 ringgit for a 25 ml in most online sites. So it's not the cheapest, neither is it the most expensive. However, if you're looking for a sunscreen with vitamin C and niacinamide to calm and to brighten your skin, this is really affordable. Hence, for price, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Overall effectiveness, it has niacinamide to calm your skin, vitamin C, vitamin E as a great antioxidant to brighten your skin. It has soothing properties like vitamin B5, it has soothing properties like bisabolo and, and all these other minor minor ingredients. Hence, if you're looking for a brightening sun cream, you can always choose this. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. So an overall rating is a 3.5 stars out of 5. If you ask me to choose, it's not easy to choose between the, between the two because similarities, they both contain niacinamide to soothe the skin and to help reduce acne and as well as help reduce pigmentation. So the base is the same, it has niacinamide, it both have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So if you're looking for a sunscreen for pigmentation or to reduce a little bit of your scars, you might want to choose the Yuja Niacin Brightening Sun Cream 100 with the SPF 50 of PA4+. However, my personal recommendation and the Skin Fix recommendation is this, the Chusika Mineral Calming Sunscreen uh, or sun cream of SPF 50 and PA4 plus great for all skin types, especially if you're undergoing acne, you're undergoing breakouts, purging, if you have scars, if you have pigmentations, or your skin is just generally sensitive. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below, especially if you want us to cover any other sunscreens or sun creams that we have not covered or maybe any other products. And don't forget to click the notification bell button because we'll be releasing videos on a weekly basis. So please forward this video to any of your family or friends that you might think they might actually benefit from it. So I'm signing off, I'm Dr. Inki. So always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed.